The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time in April. Yes, it feels april -y all right around here. We got nothing but rain and wind, but, uh, well, you know, April is the coolest month, but not on Topic Time. We always make it great, and we have a couple of great musicians today. We're going into the beautiful, sunshine state of Florida, the Tampa, the Tampa area, I believe. But before we get to them, we'll read these incredible underwriters, and then we will commence per usual. So, we have Personal Best Karate in Southeastern. We have Eli's Auto Care in Taunton. We have Genuine's Inspection in Middleborough. We have Salon Catherine on the west side of Brockton. We have Tom Otto in Middleborough. We have Boombox in Middleborough. We have Diesel Plus Unlimited in Whitman. We have Lynch's Towing Auto Cycle and Truck Center in Brockton. One number for towing, one number for projects. My pal Lynch, he's always looking for new scrap metal wheels, anything to do with transportation, he handles it all. We have Big Lee's Automotive in Hanover. We have Crazy Axe's Rec Center in Hanover. We have the Hanover House of Pizza in Hanover. They make delicious Sicilian pizza. Greek salads, they deliver and have awesome people working there. We have Bulldog Sports Cards in Middleborough. We have New England Floorscapes in Middleborough. We have Sweezy so Fence Erectors in Whitman. We have Johnny Macaroni's Restaurants, three locations, two in East Bridgewater, one in Halifax. We have Awan's Tire and Auto Center in Brockton, always in search of new service writers and techs. And even if you don't know how to do it, send someone by that does. We have Salon Giovanni in Marshfield. We have Kingston Auto Body in Kingston. We have the Gunrunner LLC, the Second Amendment Freedom Store in Middleborough, well known for customer service, pricing, and selection. We have One Good Credit in Brockton. We have Good Old Dave's Automotive in Hanson on Route 58. We have Doggy Boutique, all breed professional grooming for dogs and cats, run by my great next door neighbor, Debbie Chanel in Brockton. We have the Auto Shop in Hanover with Master Mechanic Ed Rooney. We have Grant's Rental in Bridgewater. We have the Rug Resort in Northeastern, cleaning today for healthier tomorrow. We have Eastern Fitness in the Village Shops in Northeastern. We have DNS Auto Works and Collision Specialists in Abington on Route 58. We have RW Carpet and Flooring in Norton, covering floors for 50 years. We have, we have Joe's <laughs> Diner in Taunton. We have Countertops Express in North Attleboro, Insta experts in the installation and removal of quartz and granite. We have Haven Psych Psychiatric Services right here in the building in Northeastern. I want to thank you guys very much. And now, well, guys, introduce yourselves, if you would, the way you did it a minute ago before we started the show. Okay. Hello, I'm Dale. And I'm Gail. Together, Together we're, we're the Hammond Brothers. brothers. There you we're have happy it. happy to be here. They're the Hammond brothers. These two guys, Thank Dale you. and Gail. They're, they're, Thank you, sir. they're twin brothers. They're musicians. They're gonna, we're going to hear a song or two from them about halfway through the show, um, and we're going to interview them today. So, guys, uh, it's an honor to have you on Topic Time. Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to do the show. You, you have a pretty sweet little uh, operation there, I guess. And that nice well, thank, thank you very much. much. We're, we're very honored and privileged to be here with you uh, today, and thank you for having us on your show. Okay. Yeah, we're actually we're actually excited about being on the show, and so uh, all the sponsors they had, man, you you left out a few of them. China, uh, Ching Wong Chu's in China. What's the other one? I don't know if they. <laughs> but you you had a lot of sponsors, don't you? Well, we have a lot of underwriters. We you know we connect the world basically. That's what that's what it's all about. Everything everything in this life is networking. Let's face it. That's a sense. The world has never been smaller in terms of you know making things happen. We are doing just that. All right. That's so right. Yeah. If, if we're ever up there around your area, we want to try that pizza. That that uh, what kind of pizza was that? What's that? Sicilian pizza. What was it? Oh, they make yeah. That's a Hanover House of Pizza. They make they make delicious oh. pizza. Well, it, they, sounds, it sounds. They love good. topic time. They're big fans of the show. Well, fantastic. Well, oh, yeah. it sounds good. It sounds great. Yeah. Well, hopefully awesome. they'll become. You guys ever come up here? We'll go out. To, we'll go out there. We'll grab, we'll grab a few pizzas there if you want. If you ever, if you ever. Yeah, we love. We'll buy. We'll buy. No, no, he'll buy. Yeah, I'll buy. Us. Why not? Why not? You, you, you do. <laughs> All right. So, so look, you, where are you got now? You're you're in Florida. You're in Tampa now, right? Yeah, yeah we, we are. are. We okay. are. Okay, but were you not were you not from Nashville originally, or aren't you aren't you guys? No, from we, we live we live in Nashville. We're that we're, we're touring, traveling. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, where did you guys grow up? Uh, we grew up in southern tip of Illinois, uh, Benton, oh. Illinois, and we left there when we were 14 and okay. ended up in Nashville. Okay. Uh, um, and, be, and now, how did you end up doing music? Uh, that's pretty good. You guys, you know, twin, twin brothers, you're the duo. How long have you been the Hammond brothers as, you know, the, 
as you know, the oh, my, my, West West. since we could talk. Bill, Bill and I started singing about six years old. Okay. Five or six years old. And then our father was a non denominational preacher, and we traveled everywhere with him and mom. Okay. Singing. They, they encouraged us to sing. So we, we got our start in gospel music. And then one thing leads to another, and here we are. Uh, uh, Okay. We, we, we've been around, and thank goodness for good parents who encourage us to continue yeah. to sing. Now we did we did lose our parents early, and we went we took off to Nashville, and it been in Nashville, and, and we we uh, we lived with Ray Walker of the Jordanaires. I don't know if you know who he was. Our stepdad. Our stepdad, exactly, stepdad to us, and uh, with Ray, and, and we got to meet all kinds of people in the music industry, such as Merle Haggard. Uh, in fact, Marty Robbins was the first person to ever put us on the Grand Ole Opry, wasn't he? Sure Great. did. Okay. Now, did you did you um you, so you performed we performed all over the you know the Southland right Nashville Memphis well we've we been we've been in twenty six different countries around the world wow uh, uh, Germany Austria Switzerland uh, Netherlands, we, the Netherlands, England, Netherlands. Ireland. we were the, we were the Grand Marshals at a parade in uh, in Austria about what fifteen years ago I guess. About, about ten years ago well, maybe ten years ago so and uh, right now we have a brand new record out that's really doing good called You Know and I Know. Okay. And we have another. We also have a record released. Now the Hammond brothers are not political people, but in this day and time, uh, the shape that our country's in—I don't have to say it. Everybody knows we need a change. We need a change, and we need one bad. Okay. Uh, our board is crazy. I mean, the whole world's going crazy. So, so we're not political, but we thought uh, we we prayed about it, really thought about it, and we we sat down and wrote a song called "Fighting for Your Freedom." Yep. And it's and of course it it. it it doesn't mention Donald Trump, but it does. It, right. The song talks about what's going on, how he's getting persecuted. And if you think about it, what did the guy do when he was president? We All of us were better off. We were all doing great. The economy was better. We, we had our gasoline prices were down. Prices were down. Secured uh, borders. Secured borders. We didn't have less less crime. Less crime. We didn't have all the killings and murders, all that stuff. So Hammond Brothers stepped up and wrote that song for Donald Trump, and now it's released. On all the Trump sites, and, uh, and 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 we're releasing it everywhere. So it's a it's a great song, and it's an inspirational song. That, that, hits, was, that absolutely hits home. It hits home, and it was, I'll be really honest. Uh, we're Christians, and we we believe with all of our hearts that God actually inspired "Fighting for Your Freedom" the song. And, and in fact, you, you, in fact, I want your listeners to listen to that, and please share it with other people. What do you think? I think so. Yes, I think you'll like. Well, that's great. I mean. So, I mean, ordinary, now I don't get political on my show, but I love it. I love when people express their opinions. And Thank um, you. I, I pretty much stay neutral because, let's face it, no matter, no matter what your opinion is, if you, if you, if you get, if, if I get, I mean, you can be opinion, you can have your opinions and I can have mine. But as the host of a show, but as a host of a show like this, if I get, if I start getting too opinionated, I could piss a lot of people off. And I don't want to but, do that. So, you, 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 can't, you can't choose sides. I understand that. But that's why as entertainers, Right. We, we, we we've never been political, but but when I got friends and family and friends and uh, they go to the gas pumps and they fill their car up and it pay it's it's three times as much to fill your car up or three times as much to buy groceries. I mean, I don't care who you are, you're gonna get concerned. Everybody does. Oh, I so, agree. So, but, and, but, 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 I, but we understand his position. Well, I get your position. I yeah. Sure do. Like I said, uh, uh, I hope that nobody gets turned off on what we're doing because. What we're doing, we just want freedom uh, in America, freedom of speech. Uh, and to be able to walk safely down the street. And be able to walk and, and, and enjoy our lives like Americans have always done. I mean, yeah, there's always been some problems, but never in the history of this country have we had all the horrible things mm -hmm. going on. Wars and all kinds of crazy stuff. Something is very wrong. I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, what you are. You have to say, yeah, something's really going on haywire. That, that, that needs to be fixed. And, and, and we think this is just our personal. Uh, this is our personal opinion that we think Donald Trump is the guy that could fix it, that God's called to fix it. What do you think, Bill? Well, I I, I believe that, uh, but you understand his position where he's at. Right. Uh, and he's an announcer, and you're a good announcer, by the way. You got a great voice, and you got a great personality. We love that. Yeah, pretty good kisser. Well, oh, thank I'm, you very I'm much. I argue if I could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, all right. Well, talk, well. In terms of like when you were growing up, did you did you you, you sang in church? Did you ever were you ever in a band in, in addition of you, you two you two guys together in a you know with other people, or did you just sing by yourselves all those years? Did, I mean, together. I mean, without you know, independent of another band. 
or a bigger beer? No, we've, all, no. we've always been a duo. Just uh, a duo. Our whole life. Okay. Uh, we, 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 so, uh, most of the time, sometimes we'll carry a five-piece band. We'll, most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, we'll lease a bus or we'll fly. Yeah. But, we, yeah. We played four, four years in Las Vegas. Wow. Uh, opening for, for Glenn Campbell. Uh, 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 just about everybody you can think of. Liberace. Uh, uh, what about Wayne Newton? Wayne Newton. Yeah. Wayne Newton. Yeah. Wayne Newton. We worked opposite of him before, too, yeah. But but our favorite person out there was really Don Rickles. Oh, Don he Rickles was great. The funniest, the funniest man that, alive, he was. Of course, he's died. He's, he's wanted to be with the Lord now. But, yeah. but Don was a great, one of the greatest great, comedians I've ever seen. Great, he, he would insult you, and you would like it. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You like you like good comedy. Do you know who Sarah Silverman is? Uh, uh, I've, I've, heard, heard, I've heard the name, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, well, well, she, well, look her up. She's my cousin. She may not have the... She might not... It's about the kind of comedy that you guys like. I don't know, but she's quite. We, she's, we, we, we like it. anything funny. We like it. We don't care what. Kind. Okay. okay. I, I think another another one of our favorite comedians was Red Skelton. Yeah. You you so, are, you you're old enough to yeah. remember Red Skelton? You worked with? Did you well, 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 we're, 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 we're not old enough to, to remember him, but we all the reruns of Red Skelton. Uh, even even Red Skelton. We also like Abbott and Costello. Uh, right. What about, the three, what about the three Stooges? They're my, they're my favorite. Absolutely. 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 They, Absolutely. They, they were geniuses. Yeah, they were all geniuses. Absolutely. Uh, and and the, Marx, the, Marx, the Marx brothers were another one that we loved. Did you guys and, ever, uh, this leads me to ask, did you, aside from music, did you ever perform, comic, did you ever do comical skits? Did you ever, you know, do acting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we, 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 we was in a Broadway play called Elvis, The Legend Lives. Uh, that was a kind of a serious show. Okay. And it was very after Elvis had dawn, died. But yeah, so we've had some acting ability as well. Okay, so, and we, we love to do we love to do comedic acting, and we've done uh, we do a lot of commercials like uh, uh, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Folgers coffee. And on that note, we're about halfway through the show, and we're going to watch a little video of the Hammond brothers singing uh, one or two songs, or however many they've uploaded, and then we'll be back to talk about them. So just keep watching, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Everybody to see, they wanna lock him up and throw away the key. You listen to me, people, and you better believe he's fighting for your freedom. Yes, he's fighting for the USA. He's fighting for your freedom. Yes, he's fighting for you and me. Swamp creatures crawling all over DC. He shine a light on them for us all to see. There's no surrender, no, no serene. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for the USA. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for you and me. Well, the FBI and the CIA all got together with the DOJ. They thought he was done, but he's America's son. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for the USA. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for you and me. Red, white, and blue, standing tall and true. He loves his freedom like me and you. Come on, everybody, now don't be distressed. He's gonna bring back America to its best. Well, the FBI and the CIA all got together with the DOJ. They thought he was done, but he's America's son. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for the USA. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for you and me. Well, the FBI and the CIA all got together with the DOJ. They thought he was done, but he's America's son. He's fighting for your freedom, yes, he's fighting for the USA. He's 
Those songs were great. Tell me about what we just listened to. Thank you. We just listened to You Know and I Know. Oh, You Know and I Know. Is that the one the you just we, played? The songs right? we talked about at the beginning of the show, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, it's fighting for your freedom. The first song we, we mentioned to you, and we, uh, for your freedom. Was, I think it was a, a You Know and I Know. That's a single that's out now. It may have been. Uh, 
Uh, that could be. Well, well but, talk about each song. I get, you know, just give a, give a little synopsis. I know you, I know you, all right, we know about fighting for your freedom because that's what you, we, you, we spent the first 10 minutes talking about what that, what that meant. Talk about you yeah. and I, only you and I, you know and I know. Let's talk about well, the synopsis well, of that I, I, I heard that we were, we were traveling. I, one night I heard the expression, you heard this expression yourself. Well, listen, you know and I know. How many times has that expression been you heard? In fact, we use it ourselves. Everybody does. So almost every day. Well, you know and I know this is true, right? So we okay. wrote a song called "You Know You Know and I Know." It's a great, great love song. It's about a man that finds his his perfect his perfect okay. mate, and the imagine about the two. He's imagining about the, the two children they're going to have, and uh, what a life they're going to have. And the song just absolutely hits home. Uh, and people just love the song. They love it. And, and the, the song also talks about about a relationship between a man and a woman, a perfect relationship. Okay. And they're flying so high that even the birds can't touch them. It's unbelievable. So so and and everyone wants that kind of love in their life. I mean, and, and, I do. I, I'm looking. And, and of course, making love underneath the moonlight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Moonlight, sunlight doesn't matter to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could yeah. certainly I could certainly use some loving like that. So, so I'm glad you know. So I, yeah, who who, who oh, could? So you know, you, you, I think you're going to love the song. What, what did, did I think you're, you're, I think his people, uh, everyone that will watch this show will absolutely adore and love this song. You know and I know. Yeah, yeah. Even single people, married people, everybody's going to love. You know and I know because the song talks about love. And you know they they discovered that that if you take a person and isolate him and he's not around other people and he doesn't receive love. That he'll soon wither and die. Actually die. So we so, all need love. We need love. That's right. Wow, we have to. Well, you, boy, you got yeah, you you touch the soft spot with me now because that's I guess I need to get some loving because otherwise, but I you know I, I feel like ultimately it'll happen. You just gotta just gotta keep the faith. So obviously that's what you guys are based on is faith, right? Pretty much. Absolutely, absolutely. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You so know, what, are, are you are you are you married with a family? I I I have no I have my parents that are still with me in, in their high eighties now, and hopefully they can. I'm turning sixty five in a few months. Hopefully they still still wow. be with me for wow. that. I feel well, you look you look great. You look great for sixty five. I'll tell you that. You sure do. Well, actually, I actually, actually, I just turned sixty four and a half yesterday, so I still get another. You look, you look fantastic. I just turned seventeen. But I had a rough life. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you know, as, as I look at you guys, as I look at you guys, you you kind of reminded me of the Smothers Brothers a little bit. You remember them, don't you? <laughs> Well, they, they, mom they, liked they, you they best. Were... No, mom liked you best, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm just wondering. Do you do you you try to emulate other other? You know, I know you mentioned Abbott and Costello, but do you? Would yeah. You, well, you to... but, you know, what, we, we, what we do is take a little bit from each act, uh, and, 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 you, you, and, and you, use it. So, and we develop our own style of humor, okay. pretty much. Uh, okay. But I, I think I think writing and singing is our our biggest thing. Right. So we, we we incorporate uh, uh, the uh, the humor that people would be relaxed and smile. We love to see people smile and happy. So they get they get the, the singing, they get the songwriting, That's uh, right. they get the humor. That's right. They get it all. And in fact, let, let me tell you this: I'm excited about it. Our last uh, record sold just under a million copies. Yeah, wow. mom bought one. We, we yeah. stopped. Stop mom that. bought one and dad bought one. Will you quit? He's he's kidding, of course. In fact, uh, we've been getting lots of calls this week. From the uh, international, we're going to be playing at the international house of pancakes. Will you, will you stop that? I'm trying to build us up on television. Anyway, love that bit. Uh, we, all, we, we, we just got a call from uh, uh, from Columbia Records. They want us to wow. stop calling too much. Will you, yeah, to stop will, calling. Will you, will you will you stop that? Bill? We're doing an interview. You got to be honest. I am being honest. They, they, they didn't call us. Yeah, they they called us and said stop calling. No, they didn't. That will you stop. We're trying, to get brother, We're trying to get a break. My, my brother jokes a lot. You I'm can't joking. pay attention I'm to everything joking. he's saying. Oh, you, you guys have such a great rapport. I wish I had a, such a great rapport with my brother, but it helps if you're twins, I guess. You know, well, it kind of well See, we have to depend on each other because we make a living. And not only that, we get along because uh, uh, we we know it's necessary for us. You can, if you don't get, Don and Phil Everly had a lot of problems, the Everly brothers, which is one of our favorite acts. Yeah. We, we love them. Uh, they broke up for 10 years. How many hit songs did they miss out on, or did we miss out on, because of that breakup? Right, Simon and Garfunkel, and uh, it is a lot of great duos. Oh yeah, yeah. So I, I remember them as a kid, Mrs. Robinson from 1967, and all those things. Oh, yeah, all those, all yeah. Those Mrs. Robinson, in that movie, she was pretty hot back then. 
source now. I don't, that's been thirty years ago, and I guess. Yeah, she's but probably. I don't time. think she's. I don't. I don't think she's with us anymore. That was nineteen sixty. That was fifty-seven years ago. Wow. Jeez, my goodness. Well, yeah. yeah. I was, I, we were just. We were just a gleam in her daddy's eye then. Wow. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, also too, Gil and I get along really, really well because before we were born, we, we were roommates. Roommates. Just curious, how old are you guys? If you don't mind my asking. I'm up to 28. 28, we had a rough life. <laughs> okay, I got it. I hear you. That's why your son looks 28. So obviously, obviously you, there's a little fly, fly, you, you can't you can't you can't BS a BS when he's doing it, you know, when we spend our whole lives doing that. So but I like it. It's cool. <laughs> well, gentlemen, guess what? We're under the we're finally we're actually under five minutes to go on the show. I hope we had I hope you had fun talking to me and performing your your songs and your little bits and they were and they were incredible. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank well, you, we sir. did enjoy, we we enjoyed really, the we, interview. Well, then we go. We did. We really enjoyed you, and thank you for having us on your show. We've had a great time, haven't we? Yeah, and, and remember, I'm Dale. And I'm Gail. Together, Together, we're the Hammond brothers. brothers. All right. All right. So here's what I want you to do in the final five minutes. Give some shouts out to people that are going to see the show, um, and then we'll wrap the show up with my snap and the way we began it. So go ahead. Just condense them. Uh, do you want that? Uh, just say hi to everybody. Okay. Go. We, we, yeah. we appreciate all of our fans. Tune in and watch the Hammer Brothers. And enjoy the videos. Enjoy the great, rich conversation we've had here today, and we've had such a great time. Hey, can I just talk some of the what's some of the TV shows oh, on you, regular? You, 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 you can go to www.thehammerbrothers.com. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Talk About It Television. Talk about yeah. So you, they, they, they can find us in, in any outlet. We're there. Uh, YouTube, iTunes, we're on all the social medias. So I encourage everybody to please support us on this song because it's a it's a big deal we really feel with all of our hearts that america needs to fight for our freedom because we feel personally we're our fighting for our freedom that our, that our freedom is in jeopardy that we need to fight for it i mean think about it we got thousands of people at the border coming across that we don't even know who they are or what what even what country they're from and they're coming in we so america needs to wake up and, and smell the roses right absolutely and we're not we're not political we ju we're just Americans. We're just we we're love Americans. We're observant. We see what's going on. And we love you all. We love you and thank you for having us on your show. And remember this: wherever you go, there you'll be. And of all the people we've ever played for, you're one of them. Please stop that. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to give a speech. He's 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 done making comedy out of it. Okay. Anyway, meanwhile, I'm Dale and I'm Gail. Together, together we're the Hammond brothers, brothers, and thank you. We love you. God bless. Thank bye you. Bye. Well, we're not done yet. I just want to know, do you have anything coming up that in the next, you know, in the few next ensuing weeks in the summer, uh, now that the weather's warm? Yeah, right now, right, right, right now we're doing it. Right mention real quick, and then, because I want to make sure we cover everything. Right, we're, we're getting ready to go back in the studio to finish up uh, six, uh, six songs. Six new songs. We, we, we just read, we wrote three, uh, six new songs. I think the last one we wrote, we finished last night. It's called uh, Can't Stop. Okay. What a wonderful song. And we started writing, we just couldn't stop, so we called it Can't Stop. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, right. we'll, we'll, be, we'll be flying back probably in a couple of days. We'll uh -huh. finish up here, then fly back to Nashville and do that. We'll fly back to Nashville and go to the recording studio and finish that up, and then back out here, and then uh, probably we're looking at uh, probably the uh, Huckleberry, the Huckleberry Show. You'll probably be doing Huckleberry next. And then uh, the Huckleberry Show? Hopefully, we we, 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 we think we're going to end up touring uh, on a lot of the Trump uh, rallies. So look for that too. So that's that's in the works too. Okay, great. Guys, you did a wonderful job. I have one last favor to ask. When you when we finished, oh, well, one other thing, if you had a good time, tell other people about my show, Get you you know, have them call me, we'll get them on as guests, either by Zoom or in person. I always ask Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay. And, and now I'm gonna ask that you stick around and let my tech guy take a pic for Facebook and I'll tag you in it. And if you wanna tag me, that'd be great. Are you okay with that? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And we'd like to say this to all the fans out there. Listen, this is a fantastic show. This man does a great job. We were really honored to be on his show, and we'd like for all of you to share it, and listen to it, and uh, absolutely and follow tune in every and follow him on uh, on fa Facebook, follow him on on YouTube, social media, yeah, on, on all social media. Again, and don't forget the Hammond Brothers. www.thehammondbrothers.com. Okay, folks, we're wrapping the show up. Great job. See you next time with another incredible show. Lining up and signing out. Thank you. Well, thank you. Bye -bye. Lining up and signing out. There we go. Yeah, we got a little rhythmic there. <laughs>